Hello. In our parasha, parashat b'shalach, Am Yisrael four times complained to Moshe and are saved by Hashem. The first time in Kiat Yam Suf. In Kiat Yam Suf is the only time that they actually pray to Hashem, but they also complain to Moshe, and then Hashem saves them. The second time is with the bitter water of Mara, where they complain to Moshe, and Hashem intervenes and teaches Moshe how to sweeten the water. The third time, in after that they are hungry, they don't have food, or they complain that they don't have food, and then Hashem uh, sends the man and the slav. And the fourth time, again, they don't have water, they're thirsty, and then again they claim complain to Moshe, and then Moshe hits the rock in the front of Zikne Israel, and then the water, they have water for all of Am Yisrael. What is the parasha trying to teach us? What can we learn from this? I think that there's a very important idea here. Am Yisrael are beginning to understand what it means to be independent. Independence means that they are the ones who are in charge of themselves. They are the ones who have to take care for themselves. They own themselves. That could be one understanding of independence. But then, at that moment, their leader is Moshe. And they walk in the desert and they don't have any water and they realize it's up to them to get water and they don't know how to get water in such a situation. So they go to their leader, to Moshe. And then Moshe comes to teach them the major lesson that our parasha is trying to teach Am Yisrael again and again. The real independence of Am Yisrael is when they fully understand their dependence on Hashem. Once and again, every time Moshe takes what Am Yisrael is complaining and channels it and tells them, you shouldn't be complaining to me. You should be talking to Hashem. You should be praying to Hashem. Every time Hashem leads Am Yisrael to these situations in which they have to um, survive. They don't have water. They don't have food. Again, they don't have water. And every time the point is to lead Am Yisrael to find themselves in the situation in which they have to understand they have to experience their dependence on Hashem. The food comes from the sky as a man. The water is brought in miraculous ways. And again and again, they have to understand. They are not, the independence does not mean that they're in control. Independence means that they're not dependent on other humans. But they are dependent completely on Hashem. And I think we can take from this uh, idea, from the parasha, to our, to our lives. Yes, we are very much dependent on ourselves and on others. But the way Rabbi Yudha Levi says in his famous poem, that the slaves of time, the slaves of anything that is under the sun, as Kohelet says, those that are slaves of people that feel how dependent they are on others, those are slaves of day of Adim, the slaves of slaves. One who is a slave of Hashem, meaning one who understands deeply how dependent he is on God, he is a free person. He is independent. He is the one who is completely free, doesn't belong, isn't owned by any other person, or any other object in our material world. And I think that this is an important way of looking at our situation, in our health situation, that Hashem should send refuah shlema to everyone into the world, and uh, economically to the people that are coping with different economic situations, and all over in every different aspect of our lives, to manage to channel our... Um, approach from being dependent on ourselves and being dependent on the people surrounding us to understand how deep our dependence is on Hashem and in that way become free. Shabbat Shalom.